So a couple of weeks ago, Ireland had a referendum as to whether same-sex marriage should be in their constitution. And weirdly, for the rest of the world, I think, um, they passed it. So people who have partners that are the same gender as them can now get married, should they choose to. Now, this doesn't sound very revolutionary, I must admit. Like... A lot of the world has same-sex marriage now. But the thing is, Ireland has a history of being a little bit backward in terms of giving people rights and such. The Catholic Church has been very influential on its decisions. And as we know, the Catholic Church is not very good with the whole women and gays thing. For example, Ireland only legalised homosexuality in 1993 and they only legalised divorce in 1995. Abortions are still not a legal thing in Ireland so a lot of Irish people who find themselves pregnant have to come over to the UK so it means catching a ferry or a plane over to the UK to have your abortion which is not good because it's a really stressful thing anyway Never mind having to travel across an ocean just to have a medical procedure done. But there is hope. Basically, I was reading and I found some statistics and um, it seems that the Catholic Church is slowly kind of, well, not letting go of their grip on Ireland. The Irish people are basically saying, we don't want you anymore, get out. So bearing in mind that in 1979, when... John Paul II visited Dublin, nearly a third of the entire Irish population came to hear him speak. That's ridiculous. That's like, wow. I mean, there may not be a lot of them, but still, a third of your country coming to see one religious leader speak. Whereas now, I mean, this is only speculation, but I don't think the Pope would get that many people coming to hear him speak at all. Part of it is that worldwide, religion is becoming seemingly less relevant to people's lives and part of it is probably to do with the you know scandals that have rocked the catholic church in recent years i guess kind of what i wanted to say is that ireland is not as backwards as people think like it's come on leaps and bounds considering but it shows that the constitution is now not inherently homophobic. Which is nice, should I ever choose to live in Ireland. But it, I think it just shows how quickly the attitudes of people are changing. Considering 22 years ago, just having sex with your partner, if your partner was the same gender as you, could brand you a criminal. Now you can take said partner and marry them. It gives me hope. Hopefully Australia will follow in Ireland's footsteps and allow all the lovely, lovely people who have same-gender partners to marry them should they choose. And isn't your Prime Minister's sister a lesbian anyway? Like, surely if she wants to get married, her brother is being a dick. Okay, I'm going to leave it with that. And I shall see you next week.